I'm not quite sure why, but it would seem that goalkeepers are very popular with YouTube viewers, or HITCC7's viewers at least. Whether it is the 7 best goalkeepers in the world right now, the 7 best goalkeepers of all time, or the best goalkeeper from each of the 7 continents, just about any video idea seems to attract more interest when focused on goalkeepers than any other position. So, given that it has been 6 months since my last goalkeeper related video, I thought I'd take on a suggestion from one of our subscribers who asked me to show goalkeepers some love by looking at the best goalkeepers at every age from 16 to 40. I previously did do a video on the best footballer every age from 16 to 40 in any position, which you are of course more than welcome to watch after this and do obviously subscribe to HITC7s if you are someone who knows and appreciates a world class football based YouTube channel when you see one. Okay, here are my views on the best goalkeepers in the world at every age from 16 to 40. 16. Jakub Borzinski Goalkeepers tend to progress and develop a little later than outfield players, so whilst the teenagers in our best player in any position at every age video are quite well known, our teenage goalkeepers are a little less so. Starting out at age 16, I suspect probably only a select number of Liverpool fans and Polish viewers will have heard of Jakub Orzinski. A Polish youth international who attracted interest from both Liverpool and Manchester United at the start of the summer, it was Liverpool who ultimately struck up a £200,000 deal for the 16-year-old. He's said to be a top prospect, and he gets us started in this video. 17. Gavin Bazunu Really highly regarded in Ireland, Gavin Bazunu became Shamrock Rovers' youngest ever player aged 16 years and 109 days, something that is highly irregular for a goalkeeper. He started five games for the League of Ireland outfit, including one in the Europa League, before Manchester City snapped him up for £420,000. The citizen signed Bazunu last October as a 16-year-old, but he only arrived at the Etihad this summer, now age 17. He's still likely to get bigger and stronger, but already looks to have a real presence between the sticks, and has to be our choice age 17. 18. Jasper Schendler The first goalkeeper in this video, who actually has his own Wikipedia page, Jasper Schendler, has about three weeks left as an 18-year-old. The Netherlands have produced some fantastic young players over the last few years, and Schendler is certainly a strong candidate to be a future Orange number one. Capped by the Netherlands at five different youth levels, Schendler is contracted to AZ Alkmaar, where his presence and distribution for AZ's second team have earned him rave reviews. 19. Mile Svila The first goalkeeper who has played first team football rather than just reserve or youth team football in this video, Mile Svila, became Anderlecht's third choice goalkeeper at the age of 16. With a rapidly growing reputation, he was snapped up by Benfica for reported £2.5 million in 2017. He has since made 19 appearances for the Portuguese Giants in all competitions, becoming their youngest ever goalkeeper and breaking Ike Casillas' record as the Champions League's youngest goalkeeper as well. He has represented Belgium at multiple youth levels, but has decided to represent Serbia, the nation of his father, at senior level. 20. Gianluigi Donnarumma the poster boy of teenage goalkeepers, Gianluigi Donnarumma, seemed to be 17 for ages, but he is in fact 20 now. For a goalkeeper of his age, more than 6 months off his 21st birthday, to have more than 150 appearances for AC Milan and 12 caps for Italy to his name is quite extraordinary. Following his rapid ascent, there are some who feel underwhelmed that Donnarumma isn't yet the best goalkeeper in the world, forgetting that most keepers do well to earn a spot on the bench at his age. He's arguably among Europe's top 10 goalkeepers and is one of the easier selections in this video, although it'd be doing a disservice to Alban Lafon not to mention him here. 21. Vulca Farines Obviously a lot less known, particularly in Europe, than Gianluigi Donnarumma, Vulca Farines has also played a seriously impressive amount of football for a goalkeeper of his age. Capped 18 times by Venezuela, he made his name in South America with Caracas, but was soon signed by Colombian powerhouses Millonarios. A short and slightly eccentric keeper, Farines really made his name at the 2017 Under-20 World Cup, where he even managed to score a goal as Venezuela reached the final and he has been Milanaris' number one ever since he signed for the club. 22. Alex Moret The second Italian in this video, Alex Moret, would have been a strong candidate to replace Gianluigi Buffon as Italy's long-term number one were it not for the brilliance of Gianluigi Donnarumma. 22-year-old Meret made 21 appearances for Napoli last season, having joined the Serie A runners-up from Udinese. He's big, agile, and has really smart handling, but is yet to win a senior cap for the Azzurri. 23. Andre Onana Andre Onana's reputation, like most of the Ajax squad, was multiplied tenfold last season. 
the Cameroonian number one played 55 games as Ajax won the league and reached the semi-finals of the Champions League, earning glowing reviews for his performances in Europe and being named as the Eredivisie's goalkeeper of the year. At the age of 23, Anana already has three full seasons as Ajax's number one under his belt, in addition to 14 caps at Cameroon. 24. Kepa Ariza Balaga it may have seemed like a lot of money when Chelsea paid £71.6 million to sign Kepa Ariza Balaga, and indeed it was, and still does, but his youth was one of the major factors behind the Blues' willingness to make him the most expensive goalkeeper of all time. The Spanish international had a mixed debut campaign in the Premier League, pulling off some great saves, but also dropping the odd blunder. Only Allison and Edison kept more clean sheets in the Premier League than Kepa last season, but he also refused to come off the pitch when his under-fire boss tried to substitute him in a cup final. Nevertheless, He's the world's best 24-year-old goalkeeper, and I'd suggest he was no downgrade on Thibaut Courtois. 25. Edison An easy decision at 25, Brazilian goalkeeper Edison is a pretty lovable character. Absolutely bonkers and brilliant in equal measure, the Man City star has been one of, if not the, most important signing of Pep Guardiola's reign at the Etihad. An instinctive shot stopper and the best ball-playing goalkeeper in the world, he's won seven trophies in two seasons at the Etihad and still has a few days before he turns 26. 26. Jan Oblak I have made a conscious decision not to include many honourable mentions in this video because it will become really lengthy and ultimately it is impossible to acknowledge everyone. There are a very few notable exceptions though, and that is the case at age 26, where it is a horrible task having to decide between Jan Oblak and Alison Becker. Both are unbelievably talented goalkeepers, Bob Black did make my World eleven only a couple of months ago, so purely in the interest of consistency and the fact he has been at this level a little longer than Allison, he edges a bitterly tight contest. 27. Mark andre Ter Stegen Maybe the most underappreciated top-class goalkeeper of a generation, a good argument, can be made for Mark andre Ter Stegen being the best number one on the planet right now. The former Borussia Mönchengladbach star has gone from strength to strength at Barcelona, proving an absolute bargain as a £9.7 million long-term replacement for Victor Valdez. His inclusion was never in any doubt. 28. Anthony Lopez There are fewer candidates than one might expect at ages 28 to 30, typically the age in which goalkeepers start to come into their prime, but we do have a very good 28-year-old. That man is French-born Portuguese international Anthony Lopez. A one-club man who has spent his entire career at Lyon, Lopez, has made just shy of 300 appearances for the Ligue 1 outfit, and the Euro 2016 winner has excellent reflexes. 29. Wojciech Szczesny A couple of goalkeepers looked a little shaky during their time at Arsenal, but have gone on to impress elsewhere, and Wojciech Szczesny is the first but not the last keeper who falls into that category of features in this video. The 42-time capped Polish international, who made over 180 appearances at the Emirates, became Juve's number one last season following the departure of Gianluigi Buffon. The Italian maestro, who is too old to even feature in this video at 41, returned to Turin this summer, but I'd expect Szczesny to still be Maurizio Sarri's first choice next season. 30. Neto This is one of the three occasions in this video where I have no choice but to name honourable mentions since it was such a tight call, this time between three La Liga goalkeepers. Villarreal star Sergio Asensio and recently exchanged Barcelona and Valencia duo Neto and Jasper Sillison are all aged 30. There's very little to split the trio, but Neto had an impressive 2018-19 campaign at Valencia, so I just edged towards him. 31. Rui Patricio The second Portuguese international to feature in this video, Rui Patricio, has been his country's number one for eight years now, amassing 81 caps in that time. The 31-year-old was one of three sporting players to leave the club following dressing room violence from supporters last summer, with Sporting and his new club Wolves eventually agreeing upon an €18 million Euro settlement fee. Patricio had a good debut campaign in the Premier League as Wolves finished seventh and qualified for a place in this season's Europa League. 32. Hugo Lloris The third and final decision that requires honourable mentions in this video, age 32, was by far the trickiest decision here in my book. Talking of my book, Alright, alright, I won't plug it this time. Just kidding, of course I will. Follow the link on screen to learn more about the finest epic since Dante's Divine Comedy. Anyhow, the three goalkeepers I had to choose from at age 33 are Hugo Lloris, Kalo Navas and Kasper Schmeichel. Lloris made a flurry of mistakes at Tottenham last season, but has previously been excellent and is a World Cup winner. Navas is criminally underrated 
and Real looked safer with him between the sticks than Courtois, as far as I'm concerned at least. And Kasper Schmeichel has just grown and grown at Leicester City, always a fine shot stopper, but he's now much more assured and well-rounded. You could pick any, I asked you all on Twitter, and you said Lloris. I'm still undecided, but that's probably fair enough, so I'll go with the Frenchman. 33. Manuel Neuer. Anyone who doubts Manuel Neuer's standing as the best 33-year-old goalkeeper in the world must be smoking some strong blue cheese, and the towering German is still among the finest goalkeepers in the world at any age. Whilst it is true that Neuer may no longer be his absolute finest 2013-16 vintage these days, nor is he a busted flush. He was excellent at Bayern last season, and the influential sweeper keeper strolls in at age 33. 34. Lucas Fabianski. The second former Arsenal keeper in this video, Lucas Fabianski, was nicknamed Lucas Flappy Hansky by some during his time with the Gunners, but there's been nothing flappy about his hands over the last few seasons. Excellent at Swansea City, he was the best goalkeeper outside the Premier League's top six at West Ham last season as far as I'm concerned, and he's our choice as the best 34-year-old goalkeeper in the world right now. 35. Samir Handanovic. A brilliant and highly experienced goalkeeper, Samir Handanovic, has been one of the best goalkeepers in Italy for almost 15 years now. Firstly with Udinese and then into Milan, Handanovic is assured, agile and really consistent. He's still one of the Nerazzurri's best players now at the age of 35 and it would be insanity not to include him here. 36. Claudio Bravo Despite having had a difficult debut campaign in Pep Guardiola's first season at Manchester City, Claudio Bravo showed in the community shield last week that he isn't a complete car crash in goal, and that an injury to Edison perhaps wouldn't be quite as much of a death knell in City's Premier League or Champions League title hopes as some have made out. That really shouldn't be all that surprising, given that Bravo has played around 300 games in La Liga, has been a first-choice goalkeeper at Barcelona, and has won 119 caps for Chile. As we said, he had a rubbish first season at the Etihad, but he's still a talented number two, and our best option for age 36. 37. Diego Lopez. Experienced former Villarreal goalkeeper Diego Lopez is our choice as the best 37-year-old goalkeeper on the planet. Capped once by Spain 10 years ago, Lopez has turned out for the likes of Real Madrid and AC Milan, but he's been contracted to Espanyol since 2017. 38. Iker Casillas. This is a bit of an odd one, since I'd assumed that Iker Casillas had retired following his heart attack last season, but upon further investigation, the Spanish great has denied all suggestions that he has retired and is yet to make any announcement that his playing days are over. As such, I have to pick Casillas as the world's best 38-year-old shot stopper. Once the finest goalkeeper in the world, Casillas, is among at least the 10 greatest goalkeepers to have ever lived, and his rail departure was more than a little distasteful. He was still Porto's number one up until his health scare last season, so he takes this one. 39. Arta Bora. Alright, I'll level with you. I wasn't spoiled for choice at 39. After a fair amount of digging, I couldn't find anyone who I'd rank above one of my earliest candidates, and that is Arta Bora. Back up to Asmir Begovic at Bournemouth, Borak won 65 caps for Poland between 2004 and 2017. He probably played his best football at Celtic and Fiorentina, but he did still make 17 appearances at the Vitality Stadium last season. 40. Robinson Zapata A familiar face to followers of the South American game, Robinson Zapata has led a pretty nomadic career, now back, in his native Colombia at the age of 40. Zapata began his career with America de Cali before making a move to Argentina in 2004 and later starring for Stau Bucharest in Romania and Galatasaray in Turkey. A four-time Colombian title winner with four caps to his name, Zapata has played in two international tournaments for Colombia, but those two came a remarkable nine years apart. That's it for today's video. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Since you've got this far and in exchange for eternal good luck and happiness, why not subscribe and turn on notifications for the ever-brilliant HITC sets. Also, for mobile users, if you click on your screen now, there should be some suggestions of other videos YouTube thinks you might like. And I agree with YouTube. If you're watching on desktop, they should appear of their own accord. Thank you all for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a brilliant day.